It's Christy Alley and changes are coming to my journey. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Today is the last day of July. I cannot believe this year is already almost over. I'm sitting here with my breakfast. It looks like just cereal, but it's actually protein oatmeal with some cut up banana, a whole banana, and some peach Activia. I've been doing this a lot lately with the um, oatmeal, banana, yogurt, cereal mixture, but this is my first time trying the protein oatmeal, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. Today I did my final weigh-in for July. I'm still at the 149 pound range. I feel like I'm just kind of sitting there at this point, um, but... <laughs> My measurements are all the same practically. I'm not gonna talk about my booty measurements because that will be a later video with the challenge. Um, but I'm currently still at the 37 inches from my bust and my waist. My thighs are still 20 inches. My arms are still 11 to 11.5. So there's not really any change in the last few days, but I honestly wasn't really expecting much of a change because I really just have been I don't know, coming and going, taking it easy, take it or leave it type deal. Recently, I have found that I've been focusing a lot on what content I'm gonna get for each like video that I upload, trying to get the most interesting possible content and storyline that I can. And I've noticed that I've been focusing so much on that that I haven't really been focusing on my journey, how my journey is making me feel. Just small things that I feel like I have been putting on the back burner because I'm focused so hard on getting content, you know, for my vlogs, for my challenges, for my recipes, etc. You cannot have my oatmeal. It's gone from something fun into something that's kind of stressful. And so we don't want that. We want to stay positive. We want to be having fun with what we're doing or, you know, what is the point if you're just going to be serious and be in that certain zone 24 seven, I feel like it's just not realistic. And so I'm going to take a step back from my vlogs. I'm still going to, of course, do my challenges um, on Wednesdays and my recipe videos on Wednesdays, but I'm really gonna take a step back from the vlogging so I can just focus on those challenges. I feel like at this point I will still, you know, do like a vlog type video a couple times per month, but it's not gonna be like my main weekly focus like the challenges and stuff will be. I just feel like it's taking a lot out of you know the little moments of the journey and I don't want to miss out on anything um, I want to be present where I am so on that note this probably will be my last like vlog like video which I mean it wraps up July right and we're going into August so it's a new month new month be me you know um, but it's a new month so we are just going to go into it with as little stress as possible if that makes sense while we're on the topic of things that we're, you know, stopping <laughs> to focus our energy elsewhere, um, you know it takes a lot of time and effort out of your day? Counting calories. While I do feel counting calories is really what has jump-started my weight loss, I feel like it as well is taking away from some of the little moments in my life. Taking the time before you're cooking your meal or after you've eaten your meal to go into my fitness pal and find every single thing that you ate. It can be really time consuming. It can be an obsessive type of activity. A lot of the times your ingredients aren't even on fitness pal, right? And so you're having to manually enter that and that takes even more time. And so I just feel like that is taking away from some of the small moments in my life. I remember during Christmas time, especially, where we're like, you know, eating those snacks off of that little chutchley board, whatever, the little board that has, you know, the tiny vegetables and things of that nature. So we're snacking on those all day. And while my family and my soon to be family, while we're all having conversations and discussions, I'm actually 
head down in my phone trying to find every single thing that I have put in my mouth on an app. Um, so it was definitely a very obsessive thing that I was doing and I would find that people would be having conversations and I'm missing out on those conversations because I'm so focused on vlogging. Um, there's also another time where I'm going to see Olivia Rodrigo with one of my best friends, Krista, and we went out to eat before and while we're, you know, talking, having a good time, I'm borderline obsessing over entering my burger on my fitness pal. The restaurant we were eating at was not on my fitness pal, and so I'm like obsessively looking for a burger that is similar to the one that I'm eating so that I can log it and get my numbers. You know, that's all I'm focusing on is hitting a number, meeting a number, reaching the number. And it really just takes away from the time that you're spending with your loved ones. For me, at least, in my humble opinion and experience. So I'm gonna take a break from the logging and I'm gonna try to eat a little more intuitively. I'm gonna try and honor my body's hunger cues and see what kind of role that plays in my journey thus far. Cause you know, I am six months in and I have been counting calories for six months. So now I'm just going to take a step back from that and to see how my lifestyle progresses or changes to see if I become a little happier because I'm not so focused on hitting that number. Because if you think about it, your food's not just a number. You know, it is sustenance for your body. It is a way to survive. It is a way to socialize. It is so many things other than a number, you know? And so at this point, I feel like it's more like being a machine versus having a relationship with your food. And with me, I need a positive relationship with my food. And I don't want to just think of it as a number that I have to reach or stay under as an achievement that I have to get to. I feel like that's what it sort of has become. Like there were instances where I would make a recipe. There was one video I was gonna make, but then I couldn't upload it because all the files were corrupted. But so, there was a recipe that I made and it had six servings and the servings had like 700 something plus calories in them. You know, it was a very calorie dense meal and not even necessarily unhealthy. It was just very calorie dense. And so what happened is I actually ended up cutting the serving in half and then cutting that serving in half so that I would not be eating X amount of calories. Mind you, this was a very hearty meal. Like it had a lot of chicken, it had a lot of beans and it. it had protein, it had sustenance and I'm just thinking about the numbers of it all. And so it could lead to under eating in a way because while it is high calorie food, it is very low volume food. And so it's just very concerning to be so fixated on that number that you're missing out on the nutrition that you're getting. You're missing out on the lovely recipes that you're making and it's just a hassle. At my next check-in with you guys, I'll probably discuss how or if not counting calories is impacting me thus far, you know, when I do my next weigh-in in a couple weeks, and we'll just kind of go from there on if I need to continue not counting or if I should start counting again. Now, I am going to continue to use my Fitness Pal. I think it is a motivating tool because you do have that community of like-minded individuals seeing the progress they're making and seeing, you know, the positivity rain from that or even seeing people having bad days to remember it's not just me having a bad day. This person is as well. Other people have bad days, you know? So it's just a very to me motivating space to be able to socialize with like-minded individuals and to be able to track my own progress. Like I'll still do my weigh-ins and log all of that there. I'm just not going to count the calories. Now, whenever I make like another recipe video, obviously I will put the calories together for that video purposes, but counting the calories will not be my main focus while using my fitness pal anymore. I am excited to continue doing different challenges. I do feel like it is less boring because you're not just doing the dance workouts every single day, which is what I was doing for a long time, which of course did help me lose my weight, but I feel like I was getting bored with just doing those. So I think continuing to do challenges will broaden my horizons, maybe get me in that gym. Um, so I'm very excited to continue doing that. It's nice focusing on something else for a change. And so I just feel like these are positive changes that I am going into moving forward. I'm going to include the challenge that I'm doing that will be uploaded Wednesday, the um, Daisy Keach Bubble Butt Challenge. I'm going to continue putting that workout into my weekly repertoire because I do feel like it is a very strong workout. Just probably, of course, not daily like you 
do for the challenge but I'm gonna end up adding that to my repertoire so I'll have a little more that I can cycle through each week so that it's not just relying again on those dance workouts so stay tuned and definitely look into my challenge video with the bubble butt um daisy keach and if you have not yet watched it i do have my cooking show and i do have my um grow with joe five miles for seven days challenge videos up so definitely check those out if you have not already i do want to thank you guys so much for watching it is very special to me that there are people that do care about my journey so if you are liking what you're seeing definitely give a like to this video and leave a comment with whatever type of content you think that i should upload in the future if you just want to say hi if you just want to give your own experiences if you want to talk about your oatmeal bowl your breakfast let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you would like to keep up with my journey to a healthier lifestyle um thank you guys again so much for watching i do hope you have an amazing week